Hello, members and guests. Um, I'm very happy to deliver my first speech, the icebreaker, which means I'm very nervous and probably bumbling and shaking. Actually, I'm already shaking. <laughs> well, um, I did not uh, spend a lot of time on preparing this speech, but I did spend a lot of time on thinking. I thought about myself. Um, I thought about myself for the past 18 years. Well, okay. <laughs> 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 for, the, for the past uh, 20 something years, <laughs> what I have done and what I have not done. Um, I did not want to make this speech uh, like an interview with and hiring manager, like, hi, my name is Nicole Song. Um, See, I'm shaky. <laughs> My name is Nicole Song. I am the only daughter in my family, and uh, I majored in accounting in university, and then got a master's degree uh, and then marketing in the UK. I am an ongoing person, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to make a speech like that. So, <laughs> so I decided to make this speech a little, bo a little bit more lively. Since you've got some in uh, basic information about me, uh, now I take a I take a major event to share with you. After graduating from university, I flew to the UK visiting a very good friend of mine. Um, it was uh, my first time going abroad and traveling on my own. During my lifetime, it was also an important experience uh, for me for bringing precious memories. Um, nearly three months traveling around Europe. My footprints were all, all over the UK, Luxembourg, France, uh, Germany, Austria, uh, Italy. I even stopped by uh, Singapore for eight days during a return trip. I sometimes travel alone, sometimes travel with my friends. I did not join any tour or follow any tour. Just be independent and made all plans as I wished including every meal, accommodation, and every bus, train, or any transportation ticket. My accommodation was my friend's flat when I stayed in London, and I spent about one and a half months in that country. Later, I took a very famous train, Eurostar, to the continent. And you know what? No Euro at that time. I mean the money. So. <laughs> Um, every country I visited, I had to change to their local currency. I once had seven currencies with me. <laughs> Why? Because I had USD with me at all time. And I also had a British pound with me because I traveled from London. I, uh, my first destination in continent was Luxembourg. So I had to change to the Luxembourg franc. Later, I went to France and I changed to the French franc. Then I went to Germany. I changed to Mark. And, um, so, and later, I traveled to <coughs> Austria. They also had their own money called shilling. <laughs> later, I went to Italy. I also had to change to lira. So <laughs> I had seven currencies with me. Oh my goodness, I, I, I was it that was really driving me crazy when I was doing shopping because I had to do a lot of um, a lot of money conversion or I wouldn't know the price or I, I couldn't know if it's expensive or it's cheap or it's worthy to, to buy. Actually, I have so many interesting experiences to share with you but due to the time limit, I squeeze them into the conclusions below. First, you have to make it to the UK. Pubs and bars are everywhere. People can get drunk um, when the time was just past 10 or 11 a.m. Second, Paris is not as romantic as everyone imagines. There was a lot of dogs, boo boo, on the street. Uh, no idea. Third, the Germans were really tall, feet and neat, and the streets were very clean, no boo-boos there at all. Fourth, please collect as much information as you can if you plan to visit Italy, uh, especially Florence, or you will feel very 
regret for as I did. It was also because the trip of Italy was unexpected, so I didn't make any preparation, just um, just um, drive drove there with my friend. I when I was in Florence, I totally forgot from the his, history uh, history book. It was uh, the it was the. Uh, I, I totally forgot uh, because I can't forgive myself. The re renaissance was happened in Florence, so I missed a lot. Therefore, I did not know how important and meaningful those buildings or places were. I was just looking at them and and thought about why there are so many tourists looking at them and taking photos. They were just beautiful buildings or church, but how? <laughs> However, there, <laughs> there were um, there were lots of meanings of those buildings. So, um, oh, by the way, my favorite city in the world is Venice. Please do go there at least once in your lifetime. <laughs> Red flag. This trip was actually a very big impact to me. Some people said I changed a lot after that. I feel that as well. After the trip, some thoughts came up. That's why I chose the UK to further my education later. I'm very to have the opportunity to share with you of my precious memories. However, the time is running out, so I must stop here. Thank you for your concentration. First master of the evening.